Hi there. Now for this question on arithmetic sequences, it's quite long as you can see, but uh, I'll give you a moment to pause the video and so you've got time to read it through. If you'd like to try it, when you come back, I'll take you slowly through the work solution and uh, you can compare your methods to mine. Okay? So welcome back then if you had a go. Well, I'm going to be looking at the nth year for this. So I'm going to say in the nth year. This is going to be the year where the selling price, okay, let's just write this in, the selling price of the computers is going to equal three times the number of computers sold. So we'll just put three times number sold. So this is the start of our equation. Now for the selling price, we're told that starting from the year 2000, the first value was 900 and it dropped by 20 pounds each year. So this formed an arithmetic sequence. So when we're looking for the nth term of an arithmetic sequence, remember the nth term, let's just write it in here, the nth term, is always equal to the first term a plus n minus 1 times the common difference d, n being the number of terms. So for the selling price, when we're looking at the nth term, a is 900, so therefore we've got 900. Then plus n minus 1, well we're trying to find out what n is, so we don't know what that is, let's just put it as n minus 1. But the common difference is minus 20, it's going down by 20, so put minus 20 there. And that's equal to 3 times the number sold. And we know for the number sold, the first year in 2150 was sold, so it would be 3 times 150 for the first term, plus n minus 1, n minus 1 times the common difference. And the computer sales went up 10 more each year. So this would be times 10 for the common difference. So we just need to solve this equation for n. So therefore, if I multiply out this bracket with the minus 20, I'm going to get minus 20n plus 20. And then that's going to equal, and if we expand this out, we've got 3 times 150, which is 450. And then down here, we've got 3 times 10, which is 30. So it would be 30 times the n minus 1, giving me 30n minus 30. And then rearranging this, if I add 20n to both sides and subtract the 450 and add 30 to both sides, then I'm going to get 500 equals 30n plus 20n, which is 50n. And from this, it follows that if I divide both sides by 50, therefore n is 500 divided by 50, which is 10. So in the 10th year, the selling price will equal the number, three times the number sold. But what is the 10th year? We've got to be careful here. It's not 2010. Remember, 2000 was the first year, 2001 was the second year, and so on. So it's going to be 2009. So therefore, the year has got to be 2009. Okay?